the word in person. John chapter 1 verses 1 to 18. Chapter 14 verses 1 to 14. It was said of the captains under Alexander the Great when they would meet in council together when Alexander was absent, that they would put his empty chair in their midst to keep them in order and faithful. How respectful and obedient then must they have been when he was actually present. In our reading in John, the famous Johannine prologue, we meet the word. Many scholars have argued about the origin and characteristics of the Johannine word, or Logos, the Greek equivalent. Whether it was derived from the Logos of the philosopher Philo or not, but the introduction to the word made flesh in verse 14 requires of us not so much argument as worship. The Lord Jesus is really the utterance of God, the self-revelation of God made flesh. As the hymn states, veiled in flesh the Godhead see, hail the incarnate deity. We therefore need to affirm constantly our belief in the full deity of our Lord Jesus Christ. Many false teachers heap quote and unquote honors on the head of Christ, such as the man for others, and our greatest teacher and example, while they quietly remove the crown of deity from his head. Liberals are full of praise for Christ until questioned as to whether they believe in Christ's deity and bodily resurrection. These they deny. There is no middle ground. When Christ said, as in our other reading in John, He that has seen me has seen the Father, He was making a claim that made Him either God or the most arrogant imposter that ever lived. Our Lord's life and teaching demonstrate clearly that He was God in flesh. But now absent from us, unlike Alexander, he has not left us a vacant chair to keep us in order. He has left us his word in scripture and the aid of his Holy Spirit. One glorious day, every believer will see him in person, the word of God. What a great day that will be. In your prayer today, use John chapter 1, verses 1 to 5 for praise.